Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn to add a column with default values to an existing table in SQL Server. So we've already got table in SQL Server and we want to add a column and we want to specify default values. I've created this table here, which is not much. It just contains the employee ID and employee name and I've created two similar tables. So employee one and employee two, and I'll just execute this. And you can see that we've got this data where we have the employee ID and the employee name. And let's say we want to include employee salary as well as a column. So I've written this, you need to run an alter table command, which basically says that you're altering the table, you specify the table name, and then you specify the column name. And after that, you specify the constraint that the constraint is by default, it should be minus 999 and the column type is null. So let's just run this. So what this does is the first sentence just is the syntax to alter the table and the table name. Second is where I provide the column name. It's the data type for the column name and whether it is a nullable or non-nullable. And third row is where I'm specifying the constraint. And the constraint name is default salary and the default value is minus 99999. So I'll just run this and let's just go back here and run this employee one because we or we'll run both the scripts any case. And you can see that I've added a new column salary, but so what it does is by default, if, because it's a nullable column, by default, it sets the value to null. I'm creating another constraint on table two, employee two. And I've, the only difference is that the column is not null and the default constraint is again, minus 9999. Now let's run both the values, sorry, both the queries. And you can see the salary is minus 999. So what's going on here is that the moment we specify that the salary is not null column, it puts the default values to the new column. And in the first one, we specified that the salary is a nullable column, so it just added null. Now let's just go and uh, add some more data and see what happens. So we could say five, and we could say Sangeeta, and let's just not put anything. And And let's run this. So now the new column, or oh sorry, the new row, it has got the default. And let's go and do the same thing to employee two. And we'll just leave it as null again. And I'll just save this. So for every new row, the default is by, minus 999 by default. But for existing rows, there's a difference for nullable and not nullable column. For nullable column, it lets the default, lets the value for existing rows as null. But when the column, new column type has been defined as not null, it replaces even for the existing rows, the values the default value. I hope this is clear. I will put the script for the table and uh, the table data as well as the alter commands in the video notes and you can have a look. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please do uh, subscribe to my channel and it gives me more encouragement to create similar stuff. Thanks again.